Hi, Internet. I am Uda. What is my YouTube name today? Udo ADHD. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. I talk about whatever I want, whenever I want. Today, I'm talking about what is a woman. It's this new documentary. Um, I hated it. Long story short, for those of you who like to watch only like the first 30 seconds of a video, um, your time is already up. But a long story short, this uh, this is not like a high quality documentary. There's no fact checking. There's no statistics. There's no like, 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 you know, usually in documentaries, they give you like a thorough, like educated background and, and they cite, they have the size, the sources cited at the bottom. This has none of that. This was a very low budget. Um, the dude who created this, I don't, listen, I went in blind. I don't know anything. I don't even know what the daily wire was. I don't know who Matt Walsh is. I know he has an audience here on YouTube. So if he is your idol, do not watch this. If you're the kind of person who like gets personally offended when somebody has something negative to say about the work your idol produce, um, do not watch this. You're going to get, I, my, my comments will offend you. If, if you are a Matt Walsh fan and you identify too much with your idols, my comments will offend you. Go ahead. And like, that's your trigger warning. Um, he, um, sucks at writing documentaries. I can tell that he wrote it himself. Like I can tell that he did not hire a writer. This was a very low budget. You didn't even have enough budget to hire a writer. And it shows, and it shows this did not need to be of like, I am very, it was my bae. Bay wanted to watch this. Bay is very much into like, I don't know. He like, he follows this kind of stuff. I do not follow. I do like, obviously like, look at the title, whatever I titled this YouTube video, look at that. Okay. I don't, I don't follow this kind of stuff. He really wanted to watch this yesterday. Like apparently somebody, um, hacked the website, but like while he was trying to like figure out how to like log in, I saw the titles of the news articles on this daily wire and they're obviously they're like very right leaning bias, like very conservative bias. And I was like, babe, like what literally are we watching that people are hacking the website? And also like, look at these really bad like like if I like if this was English class if this was if I was an AP IB English class and the assignment was to write a news article if I had that sentence in my article I would get an F I would fail like this is incredibly biased obviously like obviously there's something stupid going afoot here but anyway, um, Matt Walsh, like you didn't like the, the transitions are very corny. Like we can tell us a little bit. This is not, he paid. So I'm mad at Bay because he paid like, I don't know how much it costs, but you have to pay, you have to pay money to see this. Like he paid money. Like he, he gave me his username and password so I can make this video. He paid money so that we can see this trash. Like this did not need to be something you pay money for. This needed to just be a YouTube video. You needed to like remove it off this website and just upload it to your YouTube channel. Like th this is not. Okay. So that's my review. Like if, like if you just wanted a long story short, like if you just want it from like a cinematic, like people who like documentaries, what do we have to say about it? This was not good. This was a YouTube video in long form. Okay. So like if you're done, you're done by if you vibe and you subscribe, let's get into the rant and rave because I am going to rant and rave. Now, if you're listening to this rant and rave and you have to be like, if you are, okay, I know you're still listening to this rant and rave. If you are at this moment typing, if you are typing in the comments, you're typing in the comments and it's already beyond, you're on your second, third paragraph. This, this is for you. Stop. Because more than likely, nobody's going to see it. You probably have written a, a word that YouTube doesn't like, like, like curse, YouTube doesn't like certain curse words and stuff like that. So it like automatically like put, like blocks it automatically makes it so that nobody will see it until like like go into the back back recesses of my studio so that's a waste of your time because nobody will see it or or if you're like it's perfectly clean but you're on your third paragraph now and you were like telling me your whole life story and your whole ideological background and 
and what you think I believe because you haven't it's only four five minutes into this video you don't even know what I think you don't even know what I believe I just labeled all I did was title this somehow I probably gave myself some kind of label and like that just triggered you into writing your manifesto I don't do that like if you're writing an entire manifesto, I don't do that. Like I'm not reading it. Like it's just going to get deleted. I want discourse. I want opposing views, As especially if you're a trans activist. If you are a trans activist, I re you can go ahead. You can write a manifesto. Why? Because this is about you. This is about trans people. I want to hear from trans people. So if you are a part of the trans community and you're active in it and you're active in it. Okay. And you're active, you're active in your community. You can write a manifesto, but if that's not you, I'm not interested. Literally just stick, stick to the point, stay on topic. I five minutes and 55 seconds in, you said ABC. And just so you know, ABC is actually incorrect per the CDC guidelines. Like, you know what I mean? Like, just stay on topic, say factual and keep it easy peasy because it's not it's literally it's not that serious. Unless you're a trans person or there's a trans person in your life, this that, that that's why I typically stay away from this kind of stuff. Um, Because I have the privilege to not have to think about it on a daily basis. And it's like, if this is something that actually doesn't even affect me, like, why should I have an opinion? Like, why should I have a strong opinion, like, against somebody just living their life? Nobody has, nobody, ha nobody has convinced me to be a bigot. Not even, not even this YouTube video. <laughs> not my YouTube video. What's his name? Walsh's YouTube video that he's killing me. A documentary by the way I don't know if I said this yet I don't know if I said this yet this would have been so much better if it was Borat did I already say this if James was why do I want to call him James Walsh who is James Walsh is that somebody why do I want to call him James Walsh a musician I don't even know who this guy is Anyway, um, if Matt Walsh, cause I could tell that he, like, like I was supposed to laugh. Like you can tell he wanted you to laugh. It's not funny. Like, like at no point did I laugh. There was one point that babe, the, the dude who, who wanted to watch this so bad that he paid, like, I don't know how much he paid. I do not even want to know how, the fact that you paid the, Credit card information had to be entered to see this. Period. That's offensive already. He, the one who wanted to see this, he only laughed one time. <laughs> he laughed one time, and I'll show you, I'll show you the part that he laughed because, like, I think that's funny too. I just it's not funny enough that it made me laugh. But what he should have done is he should have done Borat, because what this guy does, Matt Walsh. He plays, so the persona that he plays is like this fake innocence. I just want to know what is a woman, you know? This is just a question that we have in society today, and I just want to know different viewpoints of what is a woman. That sounds innocent enough. Like if somebody like was on the street like, hey, excuse me, ma'am, do, do you mind being on camera? Sure. What is a woman to you? I will gladly answer it, but then like you can tell like by the second, third question, you can tell that he's trolling you. But he's just like really calm and straight faced and just playing the straight man. And so basically he's he's like he's being a troll. Like that's what trolls like you, you ever like go back and forth with a troll. If you don't like praises be to you like good like good like trolls are are to be ignored. But like that's what trolls do. They like go back and forth asking like asking irrelevant questions useless questions red herrings uh, just kind of going back and forth with a bunch of red herrings um and then like when the person realizes that you're not using correct information you're being disingenuous you're just being a troll they either are triggered or they don't want to continue engaging with you and conservatives view that as the same thing like conservatives think that's that's two and the same like the person says they don't want to engage with me anymore i win other person's triggered I win and like 
Yeah, this is a movie for like if you are a conservative troll, this is for you. Like that's 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 basically that's what this film is like. Like that that's why he didn't need to hire a writer or like like put research in his film or cite sources or anything like that. Um this is just like for trolls. This is like her her father for trolls and he wanted to make a quick buck off of it. So good job like like first of all I am a capitalist. Um I I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I probably shouldn't be a capitalist. I probably shouldn't be. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be, but I am. Uh so like I always celebrate somebody getting their bag. Like I always celebrate people getting their bag, but <laughs> Okay. Um, this would have been so much better if you were like Borat and you were just very obviously joking over the top, irreverent character, um, offensive character. Like we just know right off the bat, like this is going to be shenanigans that would have made for a way better film. This film would have been way funnier, more enlightening. I think, um, like every, like everything that he wanted to accomplish with what is a woman would have been better executed and more people would like it if he had his, if he was more like a Borat, you don't need to, you can hire Borat or you can just like be original and come up with your own version of Borat. Like it would have been funnier. It would have been, it just would have been all around better. And it would have gotten whatever points that were trying to be made, it would have been it would have been better communicated even now right off the bat i did not like this um it starts with um a boy and a girl um in these colors that's not what ticked me off what ticked me off and they even like i the boy has a football the girl has a princess hat like i'm just getting okay we're talking about gender norms here we're talking about like these arbitrary gender roles and then he says, my son just needs his BB weapon, his BB gun, and that's all he needs for his mental stability. And right off the bat, I'm like offended. <laughs> right off the bat, I'm eye rolling. Like, I can't trust this narrator. Like, I don't know if you said that to be ironic or like you're saying that because you think that's the way life actually is. Because we just had a mass bang bang at a school where we clearly saw that a weapon is not the only thing a boy needs for his mental stability. Like we just saw that, like I'm kind of, I'm really like, I am really not down with minimizing mental health for boys. I'm, I'm not down with it whatsoever at all, at all. Like that, for, like that's the first now that was my first immediately now then he's like but my daughter oh, oh, oh. I, I don't even remember what he said he's just like insinuating that he like he has no idea how to make his daughter mentally stable and I'm like okay immediately no like no like that's why you have a wife <laughs> okay if like girls are that confusing like you make you your daughter popped out of a woman so like have her help you like ha have your what and what's funny his his wife is only in is at the very end of the movie and it's like if you're so like you are so confused like did you not marry a woman just like ask just <laughs> i don't know i just felt like this is dumb like immediately immediately after those two lines i'm like this is dumb Forget trying to figure out women. So. The real question is, what is a woman? But you don't actually care. Here's what these people actually mean. Whenever you hear a conservative talk about what is a woman and trans issues, what they actually are talking about is policing men who transition to women they're actually talking about trans women. They're not talking about trans issues as a whole. They're not talking about the idea of it. They are mostly concerned with men transitioning to women. I am not going to, I'm going to drop these two trigger warning, two words that if you are, if you feel like you're, 
a Matt Walsh fan, these two words will trigger you. This, it, tra- I, it's transphobia. Transphobia. Like, literally, you're kind of afraid of it. Like, you're afraid of being perceived as a woman. Like, guys grow up afraid of being called a wuss. You're afraid of being referenced to as a woman, being woman adjacent. And you guys kind of police each other on that front as well, to the point that you police each other about like how you can be a trans woman. How can you go from man MTF? And that comes from, I'm about to say the words, prepare yourself. It comes from patriarchy and misogyny. (laughs) I don't think I'm going to repeat those words again in this video because that's just way, that's just too much. I know I'm ranting. This is a rant and rave. This is a rant. Well, I don't think there's much raving going to be done here, but that that's going to make this video so long. That's going to make this video so long. But if you want to discuss it in the comments, please do. The prerequisite to discuss it in the comments is you need to actually know what those words mean like what they literally mean and what they mean sociology sociology wise. And if you understand those two, please discuss in the comments. If you're asking, what is it? Like if you're asking, can you explain those terms? Can you explain what you mean by those terms? You need to read some books. You can start with Wikipedia and that'll be, that'll be your best friend. Like my, this, you, this comment section is not read some books and that will properly educate you. Okay. If you had questions on that. So like right away, he starts interviewing these, um, there's a woman with the fluidity these professionals, these like these therapists and doctors and asking them what is a woman and they're given roundabout answers. Well, for him it's roundabout, but for me, I'm like, I mean, it's kind of, it's like, what he fails to admit that would really help him is he fails to admit that he knows this question, what is a woman, is loaded. Okay, would he, he doesn't even want the simple answer because he does, he interviews this one doctor. I actually really like her. Questioning. Yeah. Um, I could, look, I could see a trans activist saying that, like this doctor That's is transphobic. True, I, could, I could see that. I could see that happening. I don't like, like I said, I don't fully understand everything, but the way she answered the question is exactly how I would answer the question. There's a woman referring to mostly her sex, which is like, she has these chromosomes and then there's woman like in society. So like, if you're telling me there's a man, a cis man, biological male, and he's saying he's a woman. Is he a woman? And I could say, well, yeah, like, yeah, like if I saw him walking down the street and I perceive him to be a woman, then that's, is that not a woman? Like, I'm going to say, like, if something happens and I call the police, I'll be like, yeah, that, this woman was walking down the street. Like, as far as I'm aware, that's a woman. I am not able to look at genitals or even deeper look at chromosomes like and that's how I would answer and like I don't know the lady answered it so much more succinctly than I did um and he seems satisfied with that answer he seems satisfied but he's not he wasn't like when she told him what sex was as determined by chromosomes that wasn't satisfactory Because he understands that there is a sociological component to being called a woman. It's not just genitals or chromosomes. So he asked further, right? So, and then he's satisfied with the answer. But what he fails to just explicitly say, and yeah, I can definitely believe that he has audience people who don't understand that when you ask what is a woman, We don't know what you mean. That's why they're asking, why are you asking? Why are you asking? Why are you asking? Because there's the sex and there's the gender. And then there's what it means to you personally. 
Because I guarantee you ask, you take five women and ask them, what does being a woman mean to you? You're going to get five different answers. Okay. You're going to get like one of them who says, uh, being a woman means I have a vagina. Like if, if even one says that, (laughs) and even that answer would not have been satisfactory for him. So one of the things that annoys me of this film is that he wants to make these college professors and therapists seem like they're just, just, they don't know what they're talking about. When you know very well that it's more complex in our society, even before, even if we were not taught, even if this video, if it's called what is a woman and it had nothing to do with transgenderism, it had nothing to do with trans issues. It was just like a very colloquial, general, societally normal, what is a woman question, you know, you would get different answers. You as a man are going to get different answers when you're asked, what is a man? Because it can mean so much. It means so much. This identifier, man, woman, these identifiers mean so much. And it just feels disingenuous for him to just keep like, just, just pretending like he doesn't understand that because he very well does understand that. And he understands it depends on the context. That's why some, in some clips you see him say, oh, it's about your genitals. And then in some clips he'll say, um, it's, a, it's about the societal norms. Like you'll even see that, like you'll see he has like a Dr. Phil clip of him, like kind of contradicting himself of what he was saying earlier in the film. So that's a pet peeve of mine. And the th- and the the interviewers sense that they sense that disingenuity they sent they can feel it and they're asking why are you asking why you're asking is important understanding what you're trying to get at is essential for you to get the answer that you want and he keeps saying I'm asking everybody this question but nobody has the answer you got answers though you just didn't like the answers you did get answers. You even went, he even went to the other side of the damn the globe and he went to Kenya. Uh, let's see if I can pull that up. And you're, where is that? Can you tell me about where is it? Of their identity? Okay. Right. He even goes to the Maasai people who they obviously live a completely different way of life. And even they have gender roles. So they understand gender as like your physio, your physio, your physiology, they do it based on, do you have a peen or a vag and breast? They understand it from that way. They understand it that way. And they also understand, okay, this means, that means you have certain roles that you fulfill. Right? So it's not, so, and they even say, if you don't, if you're a man and you don't do X, Y, Z, you're not even a real man. Like, Matt shows us in his film that what it means to be a certain gender is different depending on who you ask. It literally is. You literally get a different answer every time. He even asks Jordan Peterson what is a woman and not even Jordan Peterson can answer the question. He just says, get married and then you'll find out. But he's not making fun of Jordan Peterson. But he will make fun of the college professor. Here's another thing. I think conservatives just, they, I am very surprised conservatives haven't protested K through 12 school. Like, I'm very surprised they're not mass protesting. I don't want my kid in school anymore. My kid doesn't need school. My kid doesn't need to go to school. I am so surprised they haven't started doing that. But they do hate college. They feel like it makes you left-leaning and it's indoctrinating you. Um, first of all, if you're the kind of person who wants to go to college, you probably already are pro- progressive-leaning or left-leaning. You probably are already that. Second of all, when you're more educated, you're more aware of issues and differences of how people live, which creates more empathy for different people, which will just by like automatically, it will make you progressive or left-leaning. 
Like college does not make you change political parties. You just get educated and education is associated with, I like, I don't know like what else to tell y'all. Like it's just associated with a certain, I mean, the stats show it like you're just smart. Like, bro, if there's conservatives watching this video, they're going to be mad. It's just you're I'm not going to say it because I just I don't want to deal with the comments. I know it's only going to be 10 people who even see this, but I just don't want to I don't want to deal with it. But you know what I'm saying? Like being smart, being educated, being world knowledge, being world traveled, being like knowing things about things and other people will just by nature make you more open because your mind is literally open. Like that's what college does. But they, he, even in here, he paints like, he kind of like does a little snide at college. It's like, of course, like this is, this is a conservative. This is a film made by a YouTube conservative. Like, of course you're going to die. Like at least like in the very least, like, could you like, um, financially gaslight us and tell us like, if we don't go to college or we're, we're going to become millionaires. Like, can you at least like pull a little Gary V like make it a little, you know, motivational for us. You know what I mean? Like the girls. Would okay. So he tells the story of, um, so they talk about like the founders of this movement. I actually have never heard of these founders, Kinsey and, somebody else I actually have never heard of them I don't know and I'll have to research after I film this but um he shows like there's this boy who was accidentally castrated so um born as a male um but raised as a girl right like doesn't have a member and race like a girl. So I guess, you know, if we were to rewind to the beginning, instead of wearing a blue shirt and getting a football as a present, he was wearing pink <laughs> and wearing like princess hats. And I just feel like these things are pointlessly gendered, like especially like colors, like blue is not a boy color, pink is not a girl color, who cares? Um, like a tea part, like people drink tea, like tea is not for girls, like men and women can drink tea that's pointlessly gendered uh princess tiara yeah that's usually for girls um and but boys also have i don't know if you call them tiaras but they have like prince crowns like men and women can be of royalty like there's just some things that are just pointlessly gendered and this guy's talking about how he was raised as a little girl and he had to fit they were trying to push him to fit like the gender norm and he was like like deeply depressed from that and it's like dude do you not understand that you are showing how trans people feel like how this guy felt being raised to fit into a girl's gender norm when he was he feels like he was born a boy and he and he was born biologically a boy but like, this is exactly how trans people feel. Like exactly how they feel. And I relate to some of these elements too. As a cis woman growing up, I felt very, oh, I thought that was a fly. Um, I absolutely resented the gender norms. I resented that I was like a teacher would tell me I cannot climb a tree. And I would, I'd be like, okay, I guess we're not allowed to climb trees. And then I will see a boy climbing the tree. And I'm like, excuse me, miss. I thought you said we can't climb trees. And then she'd be like, oh no, like he's a boy. I'm like, excuse me. And I have legs and arms. I can also climb. Why can't I climb the tree? Like I had to put up a, like if I wasn't such a, headstrong kid I don't know I I probably would be like way more depressed than I was but like I had to fight to just be able to be a kid like I want to climb trees like climbing trees is not for boys it's for any any kid any kid can climb the jungle gym and play soccer and tag football 
and whatever like all the there were so many dumb arbitrary little things i was like oh no you can't that's not for girls you know or they would try to push me why don't you go play um go play with the girls go play house go play grocery store i'm like this is boring i want to play the video games like i just feel like a lot of things are pointlessly gendered and this guy experienced that growing up like he had to deal with a lot of pointlessly gendered crap you know that like who says that okay boys have to it's boys who play in the mud any kid can play in the mud like do you see do you, like the if you get it you get it when i say like this is like do we not smell the misogyny like do we not smell do we not smell the patriarchy do we not smell the control do we not smell the desire to control people that's what this tells me and what and he's trying to show us you know this is a real thing but it's like okay so you're basically showing us what trans people feel is a real thing because this is what they feel like even me as a cis person has felt elements of this too so that really ticked me off because he wouldn't acknowledge that he wouldn't acknowledge that like you like you he's not acknowledging that like you can feel a certain gender in your mind because we have roles. And then I started getting concerned because I started to feel like, I think this guy believes that we ought to have these roles. From birth, like, or from childhood, because in the beginning, he's like, oh, boys, football, girls, princess. Then this story of this person who couldn't fit into their assigned gender role. And then he has some guy the most suicidal, not this person and don't have permit. I, can, I, can, I can't find him. He's in here. Like I, I have no idea who the guy is. I feel like he's gotta be some kind of extremist. Like, because he, he was the guy, if you've seen the film, he was the one who was like, Oh, they're trying to remove Judeo Christian values and gender roles. And, and I was like, what is wrong with removing gender roles? Like what, like, why is it important? Like, why is it important that girls don't play in the mud, but boys play in the mud? Like, wh like, why is that? Who, why does that matter? Who cares? I liked playing. I liked Barbie and I also liked Tonka toys. I liked both of them. I liked both of them. You know, like why, why can't kids enjoy toys? Why do we have to put rules on damn children's toys? But it seemed like throughout this film, like he's actually promoting that. And he's even when he was with the Maasai, you know, he wanted to know about the roles. Um, even at the end, like this, I was like, you. In the NCAA swim. Where is it? Um, you look at a different. When he finally has his wife. He's like, oh, honey, what's a woman? Oh, a woman is a. I don't even know what she said. She said, you're biologically blah, blah, blah. And I need you to help me open this jar. I'm like, really? That's like, that's the two sentences you gave for your wife in a film called What is a Woman? Where you're like, oh, I don't know what's a woman. And even at one point, like you see him waking up in bed and I was expecting his wife to be next to him. I was expecting like, oh, is this going to be like some clever little skit? Like his wife was like, honey, are you still asking that silly question again? You know, I'm right here. Like I was expecting some like something clever. And he was like in the bed by himself. I'm like, why are you in a king size bed by yourself? So I thought you were married. And that's where I'm, and now we finally see the wife. She's like, can you help me open this? Because you're, and I just get the feeling that it's like, like, we know, we know it's like, I need you to help me open this because I'm a woman and you're a man and you're stronger than me. Like, like re again, reinforcing roles, which I'm like, okay, like, d like, duh, like d I, I'm sure this dude is stronger than his wife. Like, I'm so sure. I'm so sure. But like, like it's the point like you you really wanted to make sure you honed in on and then oh, somebody might say no it's biological because like you know men are stronger biologically like, like sure, sure like sure but because there's so much talk of needlessly gendered things like putting this in it's like very obvious that you're like a man is a man you gotta do what men do women you're women you gotta ask your man for help that that's what i came away with i can't find that one guy who on. really concerned me Seventy thousand. he was like they're trying to they're putting lgbt characters in movies 
not this person. I don't want to defame this person. This person I'll get to. But like the, if you've seen the film, you know who I'm talking about. He was like, they're putting LGBT characters in movies. And I'm like, and like, the, we can't watch a movie about a gay person. Like, excuse me. Like, wait, you're trying to tell me like, there's something like I'm watching a movie about a gay person. Like that's something wrong about that. Like, I just feel like there's another agenda here. I feel like there's another agenda in this film. And like on face value, it's about discussing um, our, tr basically our trans, our, our people that I want to call men, women, do I really have to call this guy a woman? Because men cannot be women. Men really cannot be anything that makes them even think, or even if you're just playing around and you call me a wuss, you can't do that. You can't call me a wuss. I'm nothing like a woman. Like, that's what this is giving. I'm really just over that conversation. Like, that is a very boring conversation for me. And in, in general, like, I'm not interested. Like, I don't know. I don't know if that is something important to men. Like, like men, is that something like that's really important to you? I, like, I'm a woman. Like, I, I do not care. Like, it does not bother me to see boys doing ballet and playing with Barbie. Like, I don't, I, I don't care. It doesn't do any, like, it doesn't do anything remotely. It triggers absolutely nothing for me. But does it trigger something for men? Like, does it trigger, like, when you see a man in drag? When you see drag queens, is that triggering for cis men? Is that true? <laughs> and I, f I feel like the need to say cis het men, because if this was 20 years ago, this would be about gay dudes. This wouldn't be about trans women. It would be about gay dudes. Because back then, that was the, that was the hey, men are becoming too much like women. Hmm. That was 20 years ago. That's what that was. That's what I feel that this is. Now, I feel like there's some interesting topics that it brings up. Like this person, um, first of all, this is like the poster person for how effed up the U.S. healthcare system is. That this person, like, okay, like I, I don't fully understand everything that happened to this person, but it seems bad. Okay, it seems bad. What has made it worse is there's a, there's talking about oh I didn't have enough money and I didn't have health insurance like this is a failure of the way we run healthcare as well like are we not gonna talk about, are we not gonna talk about the rising cost of healthcare and the inaccessibility to it in general and our insurance system we're not gonna talk about that you're just gonna glaze over that you're gonna have this person like pour their heart out and we're just gonna glaze over that really key detail that literally affects everyone and affects all the trans people that you're trying to um make look silly here or whatever um and then this person what on the phone exactly? okay this guy i feel like i read a report on this guy if you watch the film you know who this guy is and I feel like I read a report about him and, and it was like, oh, he was arrested because he didn't want his daughter to, to like get a certain gender affirming, whatever. And I read that like he, there was a restraining order. I read that like, cause he's like, oh, my ex-wife brought the daughter. So it's like, okay, so like, you're not the only parent, like there's another parent. And actually I, I read that the ex-wife is the one who has full custody of the child. Number one, number two, I read that he violated a restraining order and that's why he was arrested. He violated a restraining order. Like, like, that's what I read. That's what I read. That's what I read like some time ago. Right. So like, I already don't trust the, I don't trust Matt Walsh. I don't trust him. I don't trust the way he edits this and how he edits people that he's trying to use as a punching bag. I don't trust how he edits them. I don't trust him in general. Um, there's no, like, like other documentaries, they will have like some statistics or some information and they will put like what this, they will cite the source in the bottom corner. There's none of that here. Like, I just don't try. I like, like, 
the fact that this is a paid film and not like a YouTube video when it's like, like I can tell you, like you put you like, this is more money than the average YouTube video, obviously, but it's not as much money as like a good documentary. You know what I mean? Like, I just don't trust, <laughs> like just in general, all around this website that it's on, I don't trust. I don't trust nothing. I don't trust nothing. So like you bring this guy who like has been sensationalized as being like a matron, patron saint of protecting kids from uh, transitioning chemicals. When I read that you violated your restraining order and you basically left that woman to be a baby mama. And she has full custody of the child. And I don't know what you did before that. I don't know what you did, but it must have been bad. And now you want to reappear. You want to reappear in your kid's life when they're making this decision. You probably know nothing. You probably knew, you probably had no idea that your kid felt they were trans. You probably had no idea. Like, I don't know. I just... And then could I be wrong? I don't know. I could be wrong. Like, you know, like somebody, you could post a comment like, oh, here's a news article and you post a link and I read it, you know, like I could be wrong, but like just off of my own memory that's what's in my head and I'm like wow like I like I don't like I don't trust anything that's going on here the part of you that wants to aim up okay Jordan Peterson is some, like Jordan Peterson is somebody who I respect in small doses like I've just always had I've always had respect for him but also like sometimes sometimes I'm like why are you like like go to bed like sometimes I just feel like what like sir <laughs> sir <laughs> sir you need to like go to your wife like you go get a box of kleenex cry it out away from the computer screen sir like i just sometimes he says things that it's like why but okay um Jordan Peterson, you know, like I read his book, but his books are like about like improving your life. Like his books are not like, here's the opinion you should have on this like hot topic. His books are like 12 steps to changing your life. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know precisely his feelings about all these things, but what he does say is that like men and women like there's a lot of there's a lot about us that are, that are the same and like even when it comes to our mentality like it's not that much that's different like there's a lot of overlap like there's a lot of there's a lot of men who like you could say oh he's like a woman there's a little woman that you could say oh she's like a man like and like that and and it appears to me that jordan peterson just feels like allow people to be people like like when i'm like let kids be kids like if the boy wants to play with a doll like then he can play with the doll like like it's fine right and i get the impression that jordan peterson would say the same i don't know like let me know if you're like a huge fan of him let me know would he say the same because like i'm like let the girl play in the mud like okay that's what like if the boys clothes can get dirty the girls clothes can also get dirty let her play in the damn mud like there's nothing like let kids be kids let let people be how they need to be you know what i mean and i it seems like he's he feels that way right but but throughout the whole course of this film, Matt Walsh appears to not agree with that. He appears to be f in favor of gender roles. And I think like even when he was on Dr. Phil, he said something like of he has this Dr. Phil thing here. Oh, I gotta talk about that in a second. Um like I'm rant I really am ranting, but I hope like what I'm saying makes sense. Like there there are people who are saying things that to me it sounds like it sounds like something I would say it sounds like sensible. And then there are people who say things that are low key. Like, I think you're probably an extremist. I think you probably have like some, you have some other kind of agenda. And I, f I feel really weird that I paid money to for this. So I might be paying into that agenda. I don't know what the full agenda is, but like there, like when you say there's LGBT characters in movies these days, like y there's cl clearly you are probably all right you are probably all right and i don't feel comfortable now this next part is it's also weird to me because I, like i get this contagion effect they're trying to say like because online like they're showing tumblr but because like there's so many people sharing their trans experience online that is a, a contagion people are like kids are thinking they're trans or they're not actually trans and things like that and like i was just watching a video about how that's happening with mental health too uh, on tiktok
Um, this is why you're like, you need to see professionals <laughs> because like, like looking at social media and, and like contemplating, maybe I'm something is one thing, but then actually seeking a professional to like suss it out is a completely entirely different thing. But they're basically just trying to say like there's a contagion and it's convincing kids that they need to, here's the, this is the main thing. Like if nothing else, like the point of this film, if, if you don't, if you're not weirded out by all it, basically it's saying if you're not weirded out by all this trans stuff, then in the very least, you gotta agree with us that these kids are transitioning and they should not be transitioning. And I don't know how I feel about it. Like they're making it sound like you identify as trans and so therefore you immediately transition medically and i don't think it happens like that but like i'm not trans i i'm not in the community i don't know if you do know let me know i they're making it sound like that's how it goes i feel like that's not how it goes like do you know how like people want to for a dude to get a vasectomy something that is 80% root, like it is usually reversible if you get a reverse within like three to five years right a vasectomy you can't get like you have to hound and hound and hound and hound for years if you're like under the age of 40 i don't even know like maybe even if you are 40 you have to hound them to do that snip like so but you but it's that easy to like medically transition genders and sexes like yeah like you are transitioning sexes you're changing your secondary and primary sexual stuff it's easy to do that but it's hard to like get your tubes tied if you want your tubes tied you know what i mean like you can't just be like hey doc i want to hysterectomy like, even at my age, at my age, I'm a grown adult at my age. I can't do that. Like, the doctor will be like, no, you don't. I'll be like, oh, I want to, I want to, no, you don't. No, no, you don't. How about you come back in six months and we'll see if you're still saying that. Oh, you're still saying that in six months? Okay, well, how about you go see this doctor? Because I'm, I'm not doing that on you. Like, I can't do that, but you're telling me, like, kids can. Or young, like, people, adults younger than me can like just like that i just don't buy i just don't believe i feel like it's fear-mongering however if you're a trans please let me know is this true like i just don't get that sense um and what how this is harmful to me is like these people are expressing themselves like these people like it says my profile is a safe space like these people have found on the internet a place that they can express this thing about them that is considered taboo in the world it's considered taboo like they put themselves in harm's way for existing as this type of person so they come online to share their experience and like it's just making it sound like oh like it's bad that these people are sharing their experience and i think it's good that's what the internet is for <laughs> i think it's great i think like it's fine to raise awareness of something and then you go get checked out by a professional right I don't know. That's what makes sense to me. Like, I don't like, this is not bad to me. Like I, I understand the point that he's trying to make, but also if it's like, yeah, but also you're kind of fear mongering in my opinion. (sighs) I don't know about the school, like the school thing. It was some school that had a trans kid and there was an essay. He doesn't give information. He doesn't say when, where, how, again, no sighting. There's no like NBC news at the bottom corner. Nothing like that. I, and and then like he shows up to the town and there's reporters all around him and i'm like i bet those are actors i bet that's not a real reporter i bet that's an actor like you are trolling the like this whole freaking video is just a big troll and he's like oh they try to muzzle me with a mask i'm like sir it's it's the pandemic all of you are wearing masks they're not okay like how does it make sense that they're trying to muzzle you, but then they also muzzle themselves? They're not muzzling you. you. You just wear a mask during the pandemic. Like, his, like, there's just little moments where it's like the real him comes out. Like, little moments where it's not about answering this question, what is a woman? It's not about discussing trans issues. Like, there's just little moments where I'm like, you, 
you are you have an you have another agenda and you're not even doing a good job at convincing me to care about what you're saying I should care about with these trans issues. So it, so you're definitely not going to get me on your side by like accidentally showing like these other conservative points that I think are like even dumber. Like you're definitely not going to, you're definitely not going to like the, the medical transitioning thing compelling interesting i want to know more um but this the other stuff i'm not oh yeah and the trans athletes thing again you only care about trans athletes when it's mtf um he had an 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 expert say that most trans athletes don't like you don't see the advantage to their performance like they're not doing well so you don't hear about them you're only hearing about the ones who are like doing really well and I'm like, I'm, is that true? You know what I mean? Like this person just said most trans athletes, most MTF are not winning. You're not going to fact check that. You're just going to put like a bunch of viral clips. And some of them I can, like, I can't tell. Like, do you know how many, do you know how many times a, a cis black woman is told that she can't compete because like her hormones or whatever, or like her body is just naturally bigger than other girls, but she, she has XX chromosomes. Like, I don't know. Like it was just, when it comes to trans athletes, I feel like it's such a slippery slope is such a slippery slope because the the things that they say about the trans athletes they have like like to this day like the last olympics <laughs> they have said about black women so i'm just i'm always very sus. i understand the argument i understand but i'm also sus and i also feel like every sport is different and I also feel like I don't even care about sports. I feel like every sport has their own regulations. You know, like every sport decides what advantage is too much of an advantage. Like, so let the sport do it. Right? Like, the, like I don't know. Let the sport do it. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Like, the, tr- this, the, the, M, the, the, that debate is another debate that I just avoid because it's like, I don't know, like, I don't play soccer. I don't do fencing. I don't know. Like, <laughs> let the people who effing are impacted by the ish handle their ish. Why do you have to have an opinion about every little thing that doesn't concern you? Why? Why? I don't get it. Like, and, and if somebody has an opinion, like, why, why do I need to have, why do I need to hold your opinion? Like, why? And he never answered that. He never, the closest he came to answering that is, well, for the kids. Okay, for the kids. Well, by golly, I need more information. You didn't cite any sources. You haven't effectively convinced me to be on your side, but for everything else, why do I, why do I need to share your opinion? Okay, I think I did. I cover all the points. You're also a big proponent of. No, you're not. I think I covered. Is, there are some who would say that give it. Our incentive. Everything. <laughs> um. If I had more time, I would be compelled to like actually write down the names of everyone he interviewed and look them up and like write down the things that they've said and fact check that myself if I was so inclined if I had the time but I don't I'm actually really tired this is a kind this trans issue like I said I don't usually talk on it because I am not the person like <laughs> I don't I'm not the person I don't have the answers I don't have the research I don't have the experience I'm just here and I just know that um, there are basic basics of life that I get to enjoy as a cis person. And I would, 
I would want a trans person to also be able to enjoy that hassle free. And like when when criminals do criminal things, I don't think that should prevent like law abiding citizens from enjoying their lives. Like when an S offender does S offender things, like I don't see a reason why that should mean like we shouldn't encumber like a regular person's life, like a person who's not an S offender. Why should we like inconvenience their life because a S offender is doing what S offenders do and then got arrested for, for doing what S offenders do, you know, like that's just not a good enough argument for me. Like, Oh, criminals do criminal things. So that's why we should make it so, these certain people, even if they're not criminals, we should like make their life harder. That's not this. That doesn't make sense to me. So like, I just felt like, yeah, this movie was like a waste of my time. Um, but if you are, but if you are interested, like if you are somebody who like actually wants to learn more about this trans stuff, um, I mean, this is one way to get the opposing opinion. Um, and I'm sure at some point I will be like, you know what? Let me actually research and learn more about this. And I'll like write down everybody that he talked to. And like, I, now I know, okay, this is where I go for the opposing opinion. But I also don't know much about the the trans, trans rights activists. I don't know much on their side at all. I, I like, I just, I don't really know much of what's going on. I just know like what, like what just makes common sense to me and like that's all I know but that's my opinion um thank you for hanging out with me for the last hour as we uh rant and raved about what is a woman uh heard is very controversial I I can see why I can see why and I hope somebody who's like well educated and well versed in this can like do their reaction and cite some sources um that would be that would be interesting i would love that <laughs> but in the meantime it's this is just my going in blind reaction um and if you if you're wondering is this a film that you should pay money to watch i this is you should nobody should pay, nobody even nobody should pay money for this this is a youtube this is a video essay this is a youtube video essay what is a woman it's not a film it's not a document this is a youtube video essay no i i just feel like this should have been free Th this production should have been for free to view it should be free to view so if, if you're able, let me not, let, I'm, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just saying it should have been free to view. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Um, I don't have anything else to say. Like this was like, I did not learn anything new. I didn't learn anything new. I, I, I learned, I learned a few key, I learned a few key terms and, like people, like they mentioned this Kinsey guy. I don't know who that Kinsey guy is who like started everything. You know, I learned like a few things to Google that like that. That's it. Like I didn't actually like the film didn't teach me anything. It didn't teach me. I did not learn something new. It just gave me some things to Google. Um, I feel like he has another agenda. I'm not I don't care to find out what his agenda is. I don't want to know. Like, I, I really don't want to know. And I'm sure there's somebody who's going to say, well, there's a trans agenda. I don't know what the trans agenda is. Um, other than to like be able to live life like a regular person. Um, but what I will say is there, there are people who just feel like gender roles are not important at all. And that they shouldn't be there. Um, I'm one of those people who feel like people shouldn't have to adhere to gender roles if they don't want to. And they shouldn't be shamed for it or punished or penalized at all for it or socially shamed or anything. There should be 
absolutely nothing wrong with not following traditional gender roles, period. Um, and some people feel like that is an agenda that's worth fighting against. Like they just really feel like, no, everybody needs to follow these strict gender roles. And I just am vehemently against you. And like, this is this new generation this film is trying to make it sound like, you know, there's no hope for this new generation, but I am so proud of Gen Z and, and the alpha generation. They are the most well-informed, the most well-educated. And this is why the conservatives are scared <laughs> because they know with education and they know with like having the world at your fingertips, being able to like see complete strangers experiences from a whole nother side of the globe at any time, any day or night, that kind of wisdom and information w will make you left le lean left. It will. Ex being exposed to different people in different ways of life from all over the world and understanding different people's plights, it will make you lean more left than you were before you were educated, before you were exposed. And I think... That is scary to conservatives. And I say to this new generation, keep going. Like these old people, like Matt Walsh, I mean, they're just doing what old people do, kicking and screaming. Old old habits die hard. But this, I'm here for what this new generation is doing. And I think there's always growing, there's growing, there's always growing pains. Who, like, who, what's new? There's growing pains, right? Like they're figuring, they're like realizing, oh, like, just because somebody said it on TikTok doesn't mean like, doesn't mean I, I need to see a professional before I just take something on TikTok or Facebook. Like, duh, like, like, they, like, yes, there's growing pains. That's normal. I just, I don't see a problem. I just don't, I don't see a problem. <sighs> all right, that's all. Thank you for watching. Um, if you vibe with me, subscribe. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.